we're going to uh, install MongoDB from 10 gen repository. First, we're going to add repository configuration. Let's go to this directory. Okay, this is what we have so far, which these are the defaults repositories and we're going to add a new one. We're going to create a new file. Okay. Enter I lowercase to insert. Start typing. Right? This is going to be our tangent repository. On the next line, put the name. Paste URL. Have to type it exactly. Be careful here. Okay, now escape, shift colon, WQ, for write and quit, press enter. All right, we're done. Now let's see. We have this new repository configuration file. Let's see what's inside. Looks good. Now let's try to install it. Okay, so as you can see, we're trying to install two packages, Mongo Tengen and Mongo Tengen Server. Right? This is a good sign we were able to download these packages right here this one and this one all we have to do now is uh, enter Y for yes press enter done. That was easy. Now let's see our uh, this directory. As you can see, this file was just created, and we can see what's inside. That's great. Got this uh, default Mongo MongoD configuration file. This is our. This is where Mongo gonna log the messages. Now this is important right here. This is where Mongo going to store the actual database data right here. This is important because this is the default setting but I want to change that later on because I want to put my database file on a second hard disk 
which I'm going to mount later on so I will have to change this when I'm actually ready to run Mongo but for now it's good this is also important to know where Mongo going to store PID file process ID okay and uh, what else now we can actually start Mongo by uh, using this command Now, if I press enter, it will start the service, Mongo service, but let's see. And this is how it's how it works. It's forked, forked the process. Right, so what I want to do now is to make sure that Mongo starts automatically when when system reboots for that I'm going to, uh, to do this this is the command let's try this again done so now mongo will be uh, started when system reboots and we can we can check that by going here and look around here as you can see mongo d right here it was added to our, our init script so it will be started on reboot and it will be shut down properly when system shuts down and we can uh, see what's inside this actually our startup file nice startup script right here we can actually edit it if we don't want to use default settings for example we can uh, edit what user Mongo gonna run under and group if we don't want to use default which default is Mongo D user and Mongo D group and also it's going to use this config file right here when it starts up so we can also edit config file to uh, for example set a non-default location of database files and we'll do that later but for now we're done so mongo is installed and it was very easy